Good morning, everybody. Today is February 4th, which is a Thursday, and we hope you enjoyed your snow day on Tuesday. And we also had a show planned for you about Groundhog's Day. So before we get into the news, we're going to get into a quick interactive question. So what state is Groundhog's Day or the ceremony held in? A, Illinois, B, New York, C, Pennsylvania, or D, Massachusetts? I'm going to have to go with C. Mm -hmm, that's right. And with that, we'll take it to news. Jason Buley, the chief of Winsboro Village Police Department, died at age 45. He died in two days in his home in Winsboro, New York, from cardiac arrest. The Oneida County Sheriff's De and several police and fire departments have posted messages of sorrow and support on social media for the Winsboro community. Tuesday, Defense Secretary Lyon Austin dismissed every member of the Pentagon's advisory boards fueled by the concern that Trump administration has rushed through a series of appointments. This affects 700 members of about 40 boards, including the people who have been named to post on their closing days of Trump's term. Aside from ordering all board members to resign on the 16th, Austin suspended the board's act activists in order to review all the Defense Department's boards to examine their role, utility, and compositions. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let's get ready for some football. Help us celebrate the Super Bowl with the Spartan Pride Bowl. Students and staff, dig out your favorite football jersey. Spartan Pride will host a special Super Bowl lunch on Friday, which will include chicken wings, pizza, and ice cream. There will be awesome Super Bowl games hosted by Miss Baker her marketing and her marketing class. Come down and play and get a chance to win some prizes. A special thank you to our cafeteria staff who put the menu together. This year's journalism class is live with the re revival of the Spartan Express. Check it out at sites.google.com slash esmschool slash Spartan Express slash home. There's news, editorials, and review. For those who don't know, Groundhog's Day is a popular tradition in North America that takes place in Puxatawney, Pennsylvania. The famous groundhog, Punxsutawney Phil, sets out of his den if he sees a shadow. Let's take a oh. Oh, so uh, here's a here's a quick little another question actually. And the question is, what does it mean if the groundhog sees a shadow? A, there's six more weeks of bad winter. B, spring is just around the corner. C, 12 more weeks of bad weather. Or D, ties the coolest kid in school. It's definitely, definitely, it's definitely not D. But. Yeah, I didn't even get a guess. It's a, I was going to guess B, though. Obviously, I was wrong. But uh, with that, let's take a look at the weekly four class with Gabby. Today we will finally have some sun with a high of 33. Tomorrow is going to warm up into the 40s with possible snow or rain showers. Saturday and Sunday we'll have expected snow showers with highs in the mid-20s. The rest of the week is going to stay in the 20s and there will be possible snow showers. Today's weather is brought to you by Cosmetology. Cosmetology is our two-year program for 11th and 12th grade students. Students can receive up to six credits with successful completion of the course. Our cosmetology program is a licensing program, which means that upon successful completion of the program, you are able to go from high school right out into the workforce with a temporary license. Cosmetology is open to the public for any services, 
offered in the salon two days a week. Students may come in for services out of their study halls. The history of Groundhog's Day is traced back to Ger Germanic immigrants called the Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania Dutch. The Germans originated this tradition as Badger's Day, where a badger was, in, was used instead of a groundhog. This ceremony has now become the most attended ceremony as it has been adopted by other cities in the US and Canada. So another question, who was the first president to meet the groundhog? A, Jimmy Carter, B, Ronald Reagan, C, Richard Nixon, or D, Bill Clinton? Uh, what about, what about C? What a shame, I was wrong again. But with that, let's take it to sports. Some notable games in the NBA, NBA last night include the Philadelphia 76ers beating the Charlotte Hornets 118-111. Also, the Oklahoma City Thunder beat the Houston Rockets 104-87. And finally, the Washington Wizards beat the Miami Heat 103-100. The men's basketball game against Louisville was canceled due to, I mean, postponed due to COVID-19 in the Louisville program. The Orange will play at, uh, on Saturday at Clemson. And I'm Tanner with your sports. I hope you guys didn't struggle with that, you know, little interactive trivia quiz, you know, just as much as I. Oh, just kidding. We actually have another one. Which male actor stars in the movie Groundhog's Day? Uh, is it A? Come on. Let's go. Come on. Way to end the show off, you know. One out of one out of four, something like that. But that is all we have for you here today. So we hope you have a great Thursday.